Test one, two, one, two. It works. Welcome. This video is going to be about recording a track in waveform. I'll do another video later about how to plug in microphones or instruments. This video is just designed as a quick start for those that are ready to record. First, let's open a project. If you haven't got the project in your quick list, you can browse your computer to find your project file. That project file will show up on the left hand side. You'll then get edits in the middle and any files used in the project shown here. On the right hand side you'll get a list of the exports you've done from the project. I'm, I've only got one edit going so I'll double click on this and open up that edit window. You'll see I've got a bunch of audio coming in on this track already and I want to click on a new track here and start recording something new. We'll arm a channel for recording. First of all, I'll click on this channel. I can right click on, on this track uh, and I get a bunch of options down here. But the one I'm looking for is rename and I can name this track. Oh, sorry, forgot to hit enter. Naming the track obviously makes it easier to keep a track of what you're up to. Then, once I've got a track ready, I'll make sure that I've got the correct settings on my audio device. So I've clicked settings, audio devices, I've this project requires 44.1 kilohertz so I've got the sample rate set here and I've got my inputs active in this case then I click back here in this case I'm looking for input 3 and you'll see signal a little signal guide coming in on this track then we can arm it by clicking on the record button which shows that it's hitting the master bus for recording here as well it's hitting that master bus because i've got in the audio settings live monitoring selected which allows me to hear what i'm recording through the output of my headphones while i'm listening to the rest of the track in some cases that won't be required if you've got a mic in front of a guitar amp you can already hear the guitar amp you don't need to monitor it as well but maybe your guitar amps in another room and you want to listen to the whole thing with headphones on or if you're doing a vocal take that live monitoring can help that's almost it except that at this point clicking record will start recording instantly in addition to setting up the recording you might want to just check the click track settings typically if you've been given a project the tempo set in the beats per minute here will be correct and it may even have a click track set up already but you might need to just turn on or turn off the click track as appropriate here and setting a count in can assist when you're starting a record halfway through a piece if you're recording another take vocal take or correcting a bar or two that was wrong you can use a one or two bar count in if i select a two bar count in You'll notice currently my cursor is at bar 5. Now if I hit record, we'll jump back to bar 3 before we start recording. Now we've got to bar 5 and we are recording. That 
click track or click track counting will be quite useful when you are punching in, as it's called, some new recordings. That gives me a recording here just for bar five until I stop the recording. Finally, it's also worth mentioning that you need to make sure the cursor, the larger line in the middle, the white line is set where you want to start the recording. In that case, I'd selected bar five and the recording started at bar five. Often, if you're editing a track, your cursor might be at the end of the track here and before starting another recording you'll need to move it back. At the end of the recording you can click the stop button down the bottom and listen back to what you recorded but it's worth noting at this point that learning some of the shortcut keys will streamline the process. For example, pressing the space bar with the will play or stop recording or playback. Pressing R will start recording and pressing the home key when you get back to will get you back to the beginning of the track. These shortcut keys are normally easier than grabbing the mouse, especially with an instrument in hand. Thanks for watching.